And we back. And the Dry Erase Marker Board is back. We're here to show the X's and O's for those that want to know. I know I got a lot of diversity in my audience. Some of y'all are ex-football players. Some of y'all want to know what A-gap is. And you know, we're just going to even that out a little bit uh, and just put y'all up on some game. I'm no expert, but I do think I know a little bit about X's and O's. Um, what we've been doing is, well, what I've been doing is just kind of guessing what y'all want to know and just doing random topics. But as of late, I've been going in different comment sections and chat boxes just to kind of get the temperature of what y'all want to know so i've pulled some comments i'm i'm gonna give y'all shout outs i pulled some 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 comments to know exactly what y'all want to know and i'm going to be doing videos on that leading up to training camp because i mean come on man we ain't got nothing else to talk about uh let's get into it man let me clean off my dry erase marker board all right let's get started so how about this we got the first question from ben slipper hey yo Vach. what up ben how do you read more complex defenses you read them by knowing simple defenses or the 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 different keys in simple defenses. Let me show you how, Uncle Ben. Uh, first of all, let's put some notes here. We're gonna go man, and we gonna go zone. I write like a kindergartner, and I'm just gonna put the word mostly because everything changes. Like like these are just simple, you know, just simple keys to look for. But every coach is gonna do something different. So I'm just gonna show you the the keys that for the most part are going to be concrete and never gonna go anywhere. So we talk cover zero and cover one. That's mostly man stuff. Mostly. That's what we mean when we say zero high or one high. That's one safety high. I'm gonna talk to y'all about that in a minute. Zone coverages cover and i'm gonna keep this simple because it's a lot of ways that i could go with this we're just gonna go two through four to keep it simple okay each one of these has has their own keys so when we talk about young quarterbacks first thing we look for is we look for the safeties because they're typically going to tell you you know what what things are going to look like if you get a free high and a strong safety down it's going to look like a cover one situation. And then you got to look at your corners and see if they're giving uh, keys to man uh, to man coverage or zone coverage. But that's a whole different ball game right there. Just like if you see a strong safety high, then that's going to be more of a too high look or a cover two look. I'm going to show you all the, the big keys here. But that's just the, the first thing that we're really looking for. We're looking for safety. Zero high, one high, two high. Um, that's what we mean there, where the safeties are located. So let's get into some keys. Let's start with the zone side let's mostly do the zone side because this is man stuff so cover two every single time the rules of cover two are going to be the rules of cover two is never going to change right uh different people may carry out the rules boom boom they may be in different formations when they carry it out but for the most part they're all going to look the same cover two two safeties high so we're gonna put him in deep coverage him in deep coverage we only got two guys to cover the deep portion of the field because it's cover two so mathematically we got to cut this thing in half free safety is going to cover this half strong safety is going to cover that half that's your cover too now what are we going to do with the rest of these guys well what if they throw uh throw like a hitch or something short right there then we got to get somebody to cover the flats which is the area right around the line of scrimmage so that's what we're going to do with our corners what if they throw like uh like a hitch here or some slants here like what are we going to do who who's going to cover that that's what these linebackers here are going to be for they're going to be your hook and curl guys right now can you do something funky and change up the coverage i mean sure this guy could be um he can be in a qb spy or something like that you know he can do that um you know can you blitz this corner and put that linebacker in the flats sure if you want to it ain't practical it ain't normal but you can do it if you want to the big key that we're looking for is two corners in the flats and two safeties deep that's your main key when we talk about cover two that's never going to change let's talk about this what about cover three Vach? well i'll tell you cover three is a little different because now we have cover three that means we want to dedicate three guys to the deep portions of the field so if we got to break down the field between three guys it's going to be breaking down in thirds right broken down in thirds and uh what coaches like to do is they like to use these corners here because they're in good position so let's just go ahead and run them deep mm. now we got a conundrum right now we only got one more portion of the field that we got to cover but we got two deep safeties well if y'all ever watch football and y'all see one of these safeties walk down and these linebackers will bump over or something like that that's what happens 
that means we've switched to a cover one or a cover three, meaning that the free safety is responsible for the middle of the field. Nine times out of ten, that's what it's going to mean. So cover three, one, two, three. That's what those guys are responsible for, right? So now what we're going to do with the rest of these guys, we've got to still cover the flat somehow. Now, this can be all kind of different things now. The main key that we're looking for is three guys deep and two guys in the flats. It could be done different ways. It could be you can put this strong safety in the flats and let this backer play hook and curl. You can move this strong safety and, well, shit, you can leave him up and let him play like a robber technique, put that guy in the flats, that guy in the flats, and let him play hook and curl. It just depends on what you want to do. This time, to keep it simple, we're just going to keep this safety walk down, and we're going to put him in the flats. We had a backer here, backer here, backer here. We're going to put this backer in the flats, and we're going to go boom, boom. That's cover three for you. And the big keys to that is when you see these cornerbacks looking like they're ready to bail out and this free safety high and the strong safeties walk down to do something different, that's the big key that you're looking for in cover three. Now, could this be, it ain't got to be a linebacker. Could this be like a nickel corner or something? Absolutely. He can just go to the flats. You know what I'm saying? Long as somebody ends up to the flats. Hell, this could be a nickel corner move this backer over blitz this guy then the backer move to the flats remember your keys two guys in the flats three deep i might want to write that down somewhere ain't that better i got this uh kindergarten to write these notes for you here uh cover two two high two guys in the flats cover three uh three high two of those guys are likely to, to be corners and one free safety two guys in the flats uh cover four four high all right so if I had to just say four high with this language that, that y'all just learned up here and we had uh, two corners and two safeties and I said four high, what you think we're going to do with these uh, with these corners and safeties here? You damn right. These are going to be your four high guys. Now, Vaj, when will we call cover four? Uh, like if it's the end of a game and we know y'all passing and we know you trying to go deep, then we're going to put guys deep. I'm tripping. I got you in the flash player. My fault. If I know y'all trying to go deep, then I'm sending guys deep. We're not really worried about uh, something low to the outside. I mean, you can get out of bounds if you want to, but we're protecting more so of the uh, the uh, deep stuff. So do your thing here. We're not going to protect this down here. We're going up there. And your linebackers, if they're on the field, because sometimes they may or may not be, they're just doing... Their hook and curl stuff. If we if we catch you hooking and curling at the end of a game, we're gonna get you in here and uh, we're gonna tackle you and we're gonna get that uh, get that uh, clock to run out. But we're not giving them nothing deep and we ain't giving them giving them nothing over the middle. Take the outsides if you want to. Okay, that's cover four, man. Easy stuff. That's that's your notes there. Um, but. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm cool. And yeah, the, these are um, these are your notes in in terms of uh, what you like. You know, what are you doing with your corners and safeties? Um, these don't necessarily apply to linebackers. Um, and this is man stuff over here. Cover zero, everybody's in man. You can do some blitzes if you want to. Cover one, most likely everybody's in man as well. Um, you may have one guy playing hook and curl, maybe. Um, but the uh, key to cover one is one safety is going to be high. So that's just how you know that. Now let's break down what a complex coverage would look like so one day defensive coordinators thought they was going to get slick and they created something called cover six which isn't too complex but um i mean it's not like they run in the middle school or nothing like that hey maybe they do maybe your middle school's cutthroat but uh they they came up with something called cover six right which is technically would be considered a sort of quasi complex scheme well let's run it Let's see what we got here. That's a strong safety. So the key behind cover six is one half of it is cover two and the other half of it is cover four. Okay. And that's to confuse quarterbacks. If they're only looking at one side, they're going to think that it's sweet on the other side, whatever, whatever. So this is cover two. Now, what are, what are, our, what are our cover two rules, right? That's got to have somebody in the flat. Somebody's going to be deep, right? That's this half, which would be cover two. You know what I mean? Hook and curl guy. I'm just going to let you float around somewhere. And this side would be cover four. So boom and boom. Even, now, these two corners are normally doing the same thing. 
but they're doing different things now that's supposed to confuse you that's supposed to throw you off a little bit because all these coverages one side look just like the other side but if i get comfortable and i say oh i got this read front side i bet i got the same read back side well you know you may think you got a read and then you're throwing in the interception view right um one of the weak points of cover two is or two weak points are between the safeties here and like right up in here because we know that this corner is not going deep here so we want to try to exploit this part of the field and one thing that we could do to exploit cover two is to run um what they call a uh what's a good concept to beat cover two uh, let's say a smash concept right this outside guy is going to run a hitch then this inside guy is going to run a corner route right now you know it's going to be wide open because this cornerback is going to play down with the hitch guy that's what we want we want the corner guy to take the cheese and take this hitch guy so we can throw the uh throw the corner route over the top that's what we want. But if we get uncomfortable and say, hey, I know it's cover two because I've read this side, so it must be cover two on the other side, right? Well, if you're irresponsible and do that, then you're going to throw your corner route directly into this corner back going backwards, and that's an interception. So when you get into the higher levels of football, you got to do your due, your due diligence. You got to read both safeties, and you got to take, take into account that both sides aren't going to be the same. You see what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like I could do stuff like this all day, but uh, I think this is a good point to wrap up. Well, at least to wrap up your question, because I got another question that I want to go to. But yeah, that's how you read complex coverages. Like if you see a situation where, um, you know, you're here. Let me get these wide receivers and they routes off the board. If you're in a situation where cornerback, who is a backer here? If you're in a situation where, what if this cornerback was way up here? like if he was just way up there for no reason then you sit back and watch him and you see what he's doing right <laughs> at some point he's gonna come down and you're gonna go mm. All right, fam, you were you were hiding, you were disguising, and you're really just going to come down and play flats anyway. And if you're going to come down and play flats, it doesn't matter where you started. You ended up in the flats, which makes it cover two on this side. You see what I'm saying? So that's why, um, that's why you know, like a lot of these teams run hard counts or whatever, because if you're waiting for the snap to show what coverage you're really in, then we're going to fake a snap and make you walk down. Right. So when we say hut hut, we we're not necessarily trying to get you to jump off sides all the time. We want you to show your true colors. And when I know your true colors, then I know a route that can beat you. You see what I'm saying? But uh, that's another conversation for another day. Uh, let's get into another question. Just a YouTube quick Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's Patreon.com com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. Um McNoise. What's up, McNoise? He says, uh, yeah. What exactly do you mean when you say puts the nipple on the titty? Well, I'll tell you. Titties are important. Perfect. Titties are fantastic. The nipple is just as important as the entire titty. If you have a titty with no nipple, then you got to have a conversation with yourself about the about the complete package here. OK, and that goes for, you know, football players in a in a, in a scheme or whatever. Let's say D lineman, one D line, uh, one whole D line is a titty. Right. But your nose tackle, you know, is a very important piece on that line. He's the he's a very important piece on that titty. We need this nose tackle to be fantastic. We need you to be top tier. So you can be that nipple for us. So we can be a complete uh unit of goodness. So when I say yo, that player is the nipple on the titty or he puts the nipple on the titty, I mean he's carrying out he's carrying out something very important with great power come great responsibility. And we need that person to be fantastic and top tier for the whole product to work out you see what i mean that's what i mean by putting the nipple on the titty anyway hey man this is uh this was fun for me i enjoyed doing it 
it's dope um if y'all have any questions or anything that y'all want broken down on the marker boards you can put it in my twitter you can put it down in the comment section you can go to the discord that link is in the description and we'll cross that road when we get there bone thugs and harmony um like the video uh shout out to my patreon people the uh paypal people the cash out people shout out to y'all for keeping this thing moving uh with that being said y'all hold it down for the doski woski until next time peace